is up guys welcome back to my channel good morning or good afternoon good evening whatever time it is that you're watching this so i moved into my current apartment about six months ago now in december so it was winter time couldn't really do much with this balcony because it was gross outside didn't really want to be out there but now that it's pretty much summer i thought it's time to get this patio into shape First up, I am just repotting some caladiums. I got these at a local garden center for like five bucks each. I'm just taking them out of the nursery pots, squeezing the pot so the roots kind of loosen up and then putting them in these small pots that I just already had. I definitely wanted some foliage out here. I forget what he's called. He's sort of like a palm frond type of plant in the corner. He was from Lowe's. Um, he was a little bit more expensive. He was like 50 bucks. And he's already kind of dying. I'm not really sure. I mean, I don't have a green thumb. I need to probably look up like what's best for him, but he's already kind of starting to go brown. So the rug, I will link below if it's still available. It's just from Target. I actually bought it on clearance. I got pretty lucky. Um, there was a sale happening online. It's from Studio McGee. I think originally it was like at least a hundred bucks, maybe even more, maybe like 120 because I think I got it for about half off. So I paid about 60 bucks for it. So this giant floor poof, I can't even remember if that's what it was called online. That is also from Target. So I will link the poof below as well. It was like a hundred bucks. I can't say that I recommend it. Honestly, it is a very, very stiff and the zipper seam has already busted. Um, so the stuffing is like trying to come out. So probably wouldn't recommend it, but it's huge. I actually didn't realize it was this big. I thought it was much smaller, like typical floor proof size. But oh, was I wrong. This is what I get for not looking at dimensions online. And then this little lumbar pillow, uh, the case is from Anthropology. So here's the finished result. Guillermo definitely spends many hours out here. Uh, when I'm not sitting out here reading or writing, he's usually out here if the door's open. Very simple, super cute, little bohemian. I like it. Alrighty guys, now it is time for the book haul, book mail part of the video, which I have been waiting to do for weeks now. I've been waiting on books to come from the Book Depository, which I'm pretty sure is like based in the UK, so it's been a little while, a little bit of a wait, but no big deal. Um, and then one from eBay, so I have four books to show you today. I'm very excited. They are all on my summer TBR. I will probably be taking some of them with me to Florida. Uh, which when you're watching this video, I will already be there and maybe already be back. So yes, there will be a Florida vlog coming at some point as well, but let's get into it. I'm really excited to dive into these books. Where should I start? All right, so I'm gonna start with the ones from the book depository because I just mentioned them. I honestly don't remember the titles. Like I can picture the covers, but I don't really remember the titles of some of these. What do we have? Little bookmark, that's cute. They've got Animal Farm on there by George Orwell. My favorite book by him is 1984, not Animal Farm, but it's kind of cool that they've got that on there. And a Murakami book, which I'm about to start 1Q84 like any day now, probably after I film this video, so that's kind of cool. All right, so first up is The Deloriad by Missouri Williams. I heard Sunbeam's Jess mention this in one of her most recent like monthly wrap up videos and it sounded pretty crazy from the blurb that she read. I guess it has to do with incest. So it sounds weird to say that I was all over it, but anything that's like weird, speculative fiction, that sort of thing, it's kind of been my jam recently. So I immediately ordered it. The American cover for this is so like sad and boring. So that's why I ordered it from the UK. Their version is so much cooler. This is from uh, Dead Ink Books. The blurb says, in the wake of a mysterious environmental cataclysm that has wiped out the rest of humanity, a family descended from their incest cling to existence on the edges of a deserted city. The matriarch, ruling with fear and force, dreams of starting humanity over again, though her children are not so certain. Together, the family scavenges supplies and attempts to cultivate the poisoned earth. When the matriarch dreams of another group of survivors, she sends away her daughter, Dolores, as a marriage offering. 
but her reappearance triggers the breakdown of the matriarch's fragile order and the control she wields over their sprawling family begins to weaken. So I think it's considered gothic fiction, maybe like southern gothic. Oh, it says uh, it's a brilliant unsettling gothic take on a Greek tragedy not sure which Greek tragedy that is to be completely honest haven't read a lot of them it's also quite short it's only about like 200 pages sounds like a fun summer read all right next one from the book depository oh yes okay so this is the one that I think I'm gonna take with me to Florida just because it has to do with water and I'm gonna be reading on the beach so I figure it's sort of an unconventional beach read but um, that's kind of also right up my alley. So this is Our Wives Under the Sea by Julia Armfield. This was, I think, on the main page of the Book Depository's website when I went to order the DeLorean. I clicked on it immediately because it looked so interesting and then read the blurb and added it to my cart. Very impulsive. Yeah, it just sounded really fascinating. So the blurb says, Miri thinks she has got her wife back when Leah finally returns after a deep sea mission that ended in catastrophe. It soon becomes clear though that Leah may have come back wrong. Whatever happened in that vessel, whatever it was they were supposed to be studying before they were stranded on the ocean floor, Leah has carried part of it with her onto dry land and into their home. To have the woman she loves back should mean a return to normal life, but Miri can feel Leah slipping from her grasp. Memories of what they had before, the jokes they shared, the films they watched, all the small things that made Leah hers only remind Miri of what she stands to lose. Living in the same space, but suddenly separate, Miri comes to realize that the life that they had might be gone. So this is a debut. I believe it's a horror novel. Oh, it was blurbed by Florence Welsh. What the heck? That's so cool. It says, uh, she said, it moves fluidly between horror story and love story, the gorgeous and the grotesque. Okay, well now I'm even more excited to read it. This one's also only about 200 pages, so it shouldn't take me very long. It'll also be good to read because we're driving to Florida, so I'm gonna have some time to kill in the car for sure. I'm sure you will see a picture of it posed very cutely in the white sand uh, on my Instagram at some point. I ordered this one from eBay. This one is I Love You But I've Chosen Darkness by Claire Vey Watkins. I know I have seen her name before. I want to say, is it she who wrote Gold Fame Citrus? Because I read that a couple summers ago. Wasn't obsessed with it, but I, I thought the, the storyline was kind of unique. Am I thinking of the right person? I'll have to check. I might not be. Anyway, the cover for sure grabbed me on this one. I think uh, Pinterest suggested this one to me, actually. I get lots of uh, just like images of book covers come up on my Pinterest. That's mostly what it is now. This one says, it's a furious, hilarious, soul-rending novel of one woman's reckoning, reckoning with marriage, work, sex, and motherhood. Leaving behind her husband and their young daughter, a writer gets on a flight for a speaking engagement in Reno, not caring much besides a breast pump and a spiraling case of postpartum depression. Her temporary escape from domestic duties and an opportunity to reconnect with old friends mutates into an extended flight from the confines of marriage and motherhood and a seemingly bottomless descent into the past. Deep in the desert where she grew up, she meets her ghosts at every turn. The first love whose self-destruction still haunts her. Her father, a member of one of the most famous cults in American history. Her mother, whose native spark gutters with every passing year. She can't go back in time to make any of it right, but what exactly is her way forward? Alone in the wilderness, at last, she begins to find how to make herself a home in the world. The cactus on the front definitely is what uh, kind of influenced me to buy it for sure. Boyfriend and I went to New Mexico last summer um, and we're thinking next summer we might do Arizona. We've kind of been obsessed with the Southwest um, and you know, traveling there, so. Anyway, very excited for this one. It kind of reminds me a bit of like, um, maybe Night Bitch by Rachel Yoder. This one, if you guys have read it, it's basically about um, a mom struggling with motherhood. Um, and it's sort of an insight into, well, this one is odd. Um, she ends up sort of metamorphosing into a dog, um, or maybe it's, maybe it's a metaphor, you know, maybe she's not really. Um, but yeah, this one's really good. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit. 
obviously not the fantastical part about her turning into a dog but just the being frustrated at motherhood and kind of um you know wanting an escape so i'm super excited for this one as well oh yeah i forgot it's signed <laughs> okay that's one of the reasons why i bought this one yeah i just thought it would be cool to have i don't have very many signed copies whenever i do a bookshelf tour i'll show you guys the few that i have that are signed they're all relatively new releases as well so this one came out last year and then the delorean and um our wives under the sea came out uh, this year. And then the last one that I have today is a book that I bought recently at Magic City Books, which is a local bookstore here in downtown Tulsa. I picked up Lesser Known Monsters of the 21st Century by Kim Fu. So this is stories. I think there's 12 short stories in here. Yes, yeah, so it says in the, these 12 unforgettable tales, the strange is made familiar and the familiar strange, such that a girl growing wings on her legs feels like an ordinary rite of passage, while a bug infested house becomes an impossible Kafka-esque nightmare. Each story builds on a new world all its own. A group of children steal a haunted doll. A runaway bride encounters a sea monster. A vendor sells toy boxes that seemingly control the passage of time. An insomniac is seduced by the Sandman. These visions of modern life wrestle with themes of death and technological consequence, guilt and sexuality, and unmask the contradictions that exist within all of us. So. It's been a minute since I read a book of short stories, um, so this will be fun. I can just kind of dive in real quick um, and then, you know, move on to something else. Sometimes when I feel like I'm having a day where I don't have the longest attention span, short stories are good. I don't think they're actually based on like real myths. I wanna say they're like completely made up. I'm not totally sure. Um, but I will let you know what I think of it whenever I get around to it. Oh, and then I forgot, I got a little pin as well. So I recently bought a new bag, a sling bag. Um, and since it's kind of plain, I thought it would be really cute to put like some pins on it, different enamel pins. So I got one from Out of Print. It's not on here because it's actually on my bag. So I'll insert a clip of that. But that is it. These are my four that I picked up recently. You guys let me know if you've read them, what you thought of them. Um, and then what are you reading in June? Let me know. Leave me a comment below. I'm very curious. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh my God, it's huge. Dude. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. It's giant. Oh my God. Oh my God. That looks so ridiculous. Here, hold this one. <laughs> Oh. Not on my... Right. Well, I guess it's not